So I've got decals and ambient occlusion, and it sucks because once we put a decal in, you can see that it goes black. Very standard thing with ambient occlusion. Two fixes which suck. So one of the quickest ways would probably be wait until you've finished all your mesh and you get a nice result from what you're after. Now we built this on live stream um, the other night. So if you wanna catch me live, make sure you like and subscribe. Mainly subscribe, turn notifications on, all that kind of jazz. And we step through all this kind of like process. What we can do simply is if I bring up the, the material editor and if I go only local, that fixes our decals, okay? So it's only the local object. Now, the reason why I say wait till we've finished everything, because then we can go ahead and start selecting everything. Search by pressing spacebar or F3. That's not right. Let's just type in mesh. There we go, convert to mesh. Now I can press control J to join. And then for each material, we can just enable only local. And because everything is now one object, that ambient occlusion will work on the object, if that makes sense. And so the decals don't get affected. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now the alternate method is where it gets a little bit yuck, but it's possible, but it's yuck. It is a whole bunch of UV unwrapping. It doesn't really work if there's too much texture. So probably avoid this. I don't really recommend it. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this orange as an example. We need to first delete all the decals. Okay. And from here, we need to duplicate the principal BDSF. Let's go. Shift A, search, we're gonna do an object. No, we're not. Image texture, dump that in. Let's get our um, grunge material, plug that in. Color into there, alpha into there. Nope, that's leaks. And from here, we need to go vector. Well, actually, if I just go control T, that'll create this vector mapping. The UV is what we're going off, but we need to get rid of this object or this node delete vector. And I'm gonna type in UV and we want the UV map. That is going to be the same as this stuff down here. So if you've got two textures on top, this is where you can introduce the duplicate or the two UV maps, because we have to UV map this out twice. So over into the object information, UV maps, we've got our generic UV map, which is kind of like the default. And then I'm gonna add in a secondary UV map and we're gonna call this one decals. From here, this is gonna be the decal UV map. This one's gonna be the normal UV map. So what I've done now is actually just given the door an actual material now so that we can actually see it. So we've got you know base color, roughness, blah, blah, blah. And then we've got our ambient occlusion up here and this is all plugged into the UV map, the kind of like standard one. Up here is where we're gonna do a lot of the work in the decals. So if I were to expand this window and we open up UV editor, tab into edit mode and we select, up the top here you can see it says UV map. If we select now the decals map, I'm actually gonna scale this all the way down, nice and small, let's put it in the corner. What I need to do now is individually chop this thing up. So for instance, here and here, let's go like this, control B. If I select that piece there now, well actually we select, yep, that, U, UV unwrap, unwrap, there we go. Let's put that in the right spot, probably roughly here. Then we're gonna come in to find our texture, which is T decals. And let's just put that in a nice spot. Maybe we just put it on this one. We come into now, go mix shader. Yep, put those two in. Right, obviously it's gonna mix between the shaders. However, our decal's coming through, but we've got transparency. And obviously now we've got orange. But because the decal's got an alpha map, I'm actually just gonna grab the alpha, put it into the factor. And so now we still have our ambient occlusion around and the decal is mapped into, or sorry, onto this texture. So if obviously if I were to select that and we move it around into another piece, there we go. So that's kind of like how we can do it within UV maps. I don't like that method. 
but giving you options. Like and subscribe. Do it. <coughs> oh my goodness. That is the worst. So, future Marco here, the alternative is you could just bake everything down. But, that's effort. 